Hi Temi. Hi Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us who you are, what course you study and your role on ACS. Hi guys, I'm Temi. I study law and I'm your ACS welfare officer. A little bit Riverside Point. Let's go. Show us around. So guys, this is the courtyard. Um, I live in this block here, so obviously it's a bit because uh, right over there in that corner is a pub. This is obviously where football, Love Island, stuff like that is happening. There's noise. Wow. Anyways, and there's also train tracks behind. So you get noise from either side. I cleaned it just for you guys. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is my room. Guys, I'll be so real. I've never seen Tammy's room this clean before. She's a bloody liar. <laughs> She's a liar. She's liars of all levels. Don't look at the wig head too tough. But, um... <laughs> that's for cultural, guys. How to pop out for ACS cultural, just so you know. Get ready. And let's start over here. So obviously, this is my desk. There's a lot of room here, I can't lie. It's usually quite cluttered because I'm a law student and Clark doesn't like, understand man. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho, life is tough. So <laughs> this is my desk. Um lots of space, good for like spending your books out, doing your makeup, everything. And then we have lots of shelf space as well. So I keep my Bible, my books, my folders, all my bonnets and caps and all that stuff. And then we have shoe storage as well. It's, but this isn't just for shoes, like people use it for different things, but I use it for shoes. Obviously the bed. This is a three quarter bed. Under bed storage? Under bed storage, yes we do. But it's very heavy and tough to lift up. It is very heavy to lift guys. Yeah. There's a lot of storage under there though. Lots oh. of space under there. I keep my suitcases. I haven't unpacked my suitcase. But we keep our suitcases under here. A pin board, which is kind of cute. SPC old block. They don't have pin boards. They have like just boards that you can only use to But we have pins and stuff, which is good. Yeah, we have a mirror. It's not full size, but it's well, it's kind of full size. It's actually. basically full size. It does the job. It does the job. Yeah, it's functional. Would you say the wardrobe space is adequate? I can't lie. I overpacked in it. I overpacked, but now some of my clothes is in this suitcase. Some of my clothes are under my bed. Some are in the laundry, and this is what's left. And okay. It's looking kind of cool wow. Here, so. At least they have like a top yeah, shelf which SPC shelf. don't, yeah. but they also don't have like a little yeah. We don't have box the bottom. on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. which I would prefer to be on this apartment. Also, another thing, Riverside don't have two shelves, whereas SPC does. So I mean, yeah, mm. it's just extra storage, isn't it? This is the bathroom. So obviously the sink, toilet, shower. It's not a wet room, it's an actual shower to you get. It's the same as SPC. Similar yes. vibe, um, it comes with the same things. Comes with the toilet holder, the, the little ledge, ledge, this ledge as well, the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to buy a bin though, it doesn't come with a bin or a toilet or, brush. Yeah. Yeah, that's the toilet. And we also get um jacket hooks. We I do. Thought, I had three when I moved in, but one of them fell off the back of the door. Oh. Cool, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. Now, <laughs> guys, Riverside maintenance isn't the best, in it? So we had a flying station. Yeah. If I tell you what's in our hoover, hmm. <laughs> in our kitchen and they didn't want to do they did zilch about it actually but um it's it's basically over now i did see a flight this morning but <laughs> this is our kitchen same as spc to be honest same um, vibe yeah yeah we have this large storage cupboard which is where we keep like seasonings and like I think those are cleaning, cleaning yeah, stores, you know. But loads of people yeah. use it for food, like Sarah. And we have these two are fridges and these two are freezers. How many flatmates do you have? And I have four flatmates. I have two. What are called? Two shelves. Mm -hmm. And then my flatmate has two shelves. And then we just share this whatever way we want. Our freezers. Yeah. Our freezers are pretty much full. Two, two again. Yeah. Same as usual. Cupboard else? space adequate enough? Cupboard space is okay. So I have this one cupboard for like my plates and stuff. And I also have this cupboard for storage box. Storage box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we have the seating area. I think it's pretty much the same as SPC again. And we have the stores and a little table and more shelves and whatever. Mm -hmm. This is me and my flatmates though. Oh, they finally they drew, drew you on? 
see it. I'm the only black person and they put rice and chicken. But I mean, it's cool. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> We get the basics, so we get toaster, kettle, microwave, but then obviously you can see people brought rice cooker, air fryer, blenders, blenders yeah. um, and then obviously pots and pans. Oh yeah, here my flat is a bit different because um, we only have one sink and one drying thing, mm -hmm. but other flats in Riverside they have two sinks and like two drying things. So um, it just depends, Unite yeah. is very random, I won't lie. Yeah, depends how many flatmates you have as well. I think that's pretty much it to be honest. Just be prepared to find your flat basically yeah. empty in the kitchen. Because I had to clean this kitchen myself this morning and I didn't find it because of cash. But you know sorry. I'll type in that group chat and they'll hear my rap. <laughs> don't take any don't just take Mouses. you get. Make sure you're done. Now we're going to the common room. Oh hi Joshua! Right, I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. What course do you study? I study law, but I'm a first year student going to second year OBC by September. And what's your role at ACS? I'm, I'm head of sponsorship. Since you're here, do you want to show us around? Yes, show us the amenities that we have to offer? Joshua, what do you think of the construction that's going on opposite? I mean, it's a bit loud, I don't live too close to it, so it's yeah. not too inconvenient, but if you live in like, this block, it's a bit of a long day for you, but reception here You won't get notified, but you just got to be coming down and checking it regularly. Exactly. And then pool table. Um sorry not pool table. Table tennis table. You know, guys, I've smoked on this. I can't even. Wow! Wow! Do you want to give us a, a tutorial, Malachi? Okay. So you're gonna hold the key like this with your strong hand. Right, mm -hmm. strong hand is my right hand, okay. and then you'll use your left hand to make a bridge on the table for the key to go through, and you bend over and hit the ball. I'll demonstrate. Okay. Hey, it's re-edited, right? That one, I'm keeping it in. Hey! Wow. You take more power than that. It's true, that was very weak. So, what else is there to show us, Josh? It's a bit pricey, so... No, just find your time while so you don't have to come here all the time. What we see here as well, you can like, plug in your PlayStation to the TV, like anyone can use it. Uh, it's good for Love Island. Good for Love Island. Mm -hmm. table. I've never actually used this table. I've never seen it, I forgot it was here. I've never seen anyone use this, but mm -hmm. I guess if you ask reception, they'll be able to sort it out. Provide balls. Well. But yeah, it's so a big printer. So if you want to do like printing, I think it's not, it's not too expensive. Um, if you like, need to print a document then you've got downloaded on your phone, you can always do that. It pretty much always works, so it's not like you're going to be in a different position ever. It's been pretty reliable for me, so it should be okay for you as well. Oh. <laughs> Apples. Have but I, yeah. Have I? It's have okay. That? No, would I? No. No. Let's but go. Now we have the laundry room, so we've got dry up here, washer down, washing, washing machine down here. Three pound ten for a single wash. Super expensive, especially if you want to do like a white wash and coloured wash. You have that's, to separate. Yeah, you want yeah. to separate them. So six pound twenty in washing. Because yeah. Wash. And then the dryer as well. Obviously, you can get your own dryer, but I chose not to because I don't want my room being cluttered. Same. So I just use this. You can mix the coloured and wash. Once again, guys, do not overload the dryer because your clothes won't dry. Yeah. They won't, yeah. and then you have to do it again. Yeah, as you can so, see, yeah. guidelines up here. Yeah. But um, like I said, you can mix your white as a coloured in the dryer to dry, so mm -hmm. you put it on pound price. Yeah. And then the dryer is one pound seventy, so you're looking at about seven pounds um, eighty for <laughs> total um, wash and dry. But yeah, if you plan your time, you can do you can plan like what you wear. You can do like get away with doing like a wash every two weeks if you like. Hundred percent. Thank you for showing us around, Joshua Malika. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing us around, Joshua. Tell me, uh, what would you rate your side out of 10? In terms of like value for money and like the accommodation itself, 
5.8 out of 10. That's quite low, do you not think? I'd mm -hmm. say maybe because it's closer to campus. Oh yeah, that's true, and we have good access to libraries. But the maintenance, they're just not on top of their game. The reception is now closed early all the time. They don't come and sort out all the issues that you have. So I'm deducting for that. Okay, yeah. Joshua. Um, I would rate it probably an 8. This is a lot more appropriate. <laughs> okay, of course. Go ahead, <laughs> Mainly because of the convenience and where it's located. So obviously I do law so I'm on University Park all the time and being able to just get uh, go to the hopper bus, um, stop and get on the hopper bus and get to the campus in like 10 minutes is really convenient. And being able to walk straight to campus if you miss the hopper bus or whatever um, is very convenient again. And I also think even though it's quite expensive, I would say it's worth it because it, I, I think it pays. I think it pays. I think it's good value for money. But I think, it's, I think the only extortion thing is the washing and drying. But like everything else, I would say, it's pretty much worth it. What would you say, socials? Social, As a ten, yeah. I think we were just, I was just lucky enough to have friends that live in Riverside. Do you get me? So I have friends that live in Riverside. So socialising is okay. Probably a eight, nine, out of ten. But I feel like if I didn't have those friends and I didn't know them. Like from group chats before, then it wouldn't be like that. Sure. Socially, I would say most of my socialising is done at SPC, only if a few of my friends are going to come to us. Mm. So, for that reason, I'd probably say socialising for because I, yeah, most of, most of my meeting is done outside of Riverside. So, yeah, I think that's, that was the whole point of me choosing Riverside anyway. So, yeah. So, thank you for showing us around, guys. Um, any last words for the Brett and Common Freshers? Um, give you a company, don't be afraid to like go to the events that they hold, like they always bring stuff in for you to do with other people and I think that's a good way to make friends here. Yeah. So freshers week, enjoy yourself, go out and but don't go too crazy, but have fun. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys in September. Thank you guys, bye. bye.